Hello out there to all of our YouTube viewers here on the Florida Powerboat Club channel, to our club members, our sponsors, and to all those Powerboat fans out there. This is your COVID-19 relief kit coming from the Florida Powerboat Club. And I mean that in the most respectful way because I am certain that many of us uh, have family or friends or distant relations who have been suffering from this disease and it is tragic and we all have to get through it together. So in the meantime, we just wanna give you something to keep your mind off of it for the time being. Celebrating 27 years of the Florida Powerboat Club's signature poker run event from Miami to Key West. And with that, we bring you episode four with feature coverage of the Key West Poker Run 2019. And before we get started, let's give a big shout out to our sponsors. These YouTube episodes are brought to you by Mercury Racing Wide Open and by OffLeaseOnly.com, the nation's used car destination. In addition to our 2020 series sponsors pictured here, we'd like to recognize all of these Key West 2019 feature sponsors as seen here on our official event masthead. This is the artwork for our official souvenir t-shirts, posters, and banners. These sponsoring partners play a vital role and it's through their support that Florida Powerboat Club can produce this signature Key West Poker Run event. As always, we'd like to give a quick recap of where we were on our last episode. That was episode number three, where we were running with the members of the Florida Powerboat Club on the Wednesday departure group from Miami down to Key West. We stopped off at the landmark Gilbert's Resort for some great lunch and just long enough to enjoy that rustic vibe that makes us feel like we have arrived in the Florida Keys. Then we got back on the boats, squirted a little bit of sunscreen on and got the life jackets, got back on plane, got back on the throttles, and we were loud and proud, as I like to say, enjoying the high performance of these incredible offshore power boats. So let's get things kicked off here by introducing all of our teams, uh, starting off with Steve and Lisa Young from Alabama in their 38-foot statement center console team Naughty Habit. And we did see quite a bit of this boat in the last episode, but uh, now we really get a chance to see them running. And speaking of seeing them, did I just see something there that was, I did, I just missed something completely there. Uh, yeah, so basically, yeah, the whole point of this being that in a center console, you can bring all your friends, everyone can have a great time. Ah, oh, there we go. All right, that is exactly what I meant. <laughs> a little bit choked up here in the studio, but uh, I guess my point is that center consoles are fun. Can I just leave it at that? And I really think that we just validated that team name, which is Naughty Habit. Um, apparently, we like Naughty Habits around here. So if you have a Naughty Habit, you're welcome to come on every poker run with the club. And uh, congratulations to Steve and Lisa on the new statement, which is very well suited for their lifestyle. And thank you for the entertainment. say that it's been about four for four uh, with Jim and Lynn Archambault because I think four episodes in a row we've seen their 43 outer limits they're doing very well with getting excellent video coverage on this Key West uh, feature they somehow managed to get in every single episode from one through four and you know it has a lot to do with just how great this boat runs they always seem to be at the right place at the right time and it doesn't hurt that those V10s are just the most incredibly sounding motors uh, which is why we let it run earlier. So thanks to Jim and Lynn uh, from Georgia for being such loyal members and for putting on really a great show with this beautiful 43 Outer Limits, keeping it real. And now spending just a little bit of time with our official chase boat. I don't use the word pace boat anymore because we're never up front. We actually enjoy being at the back of the pack and just kind of being a sweet boat to make sure everybody gets uh, through the course safely. Riding along board today, Ted Hosmer and his lady Mika from New York, who had a little problem with their Donzi at the last minute, were not able to bring the boat on the run, so they rode with me. And of course, our fearless producer, Ryan McCoy, with the camera, bouncing around in the front bolster there, getting some great shots. Right now, he's looking up at the chopper. So this is a great time to do a shout out to our aerial crew. That's pilot Mike from Florida Coast to Coast Helicopters in Pompano. Front seat shooting stills is Jerry, and back seat shooting video is Joe. Yeah, it looks like we're going to do some quick flybys here now as we say hi once again to Jeff and Sue Wanamaker in their Regulator 34. Their other boat is a cigarette. 
Say hi to Team Sea Caper in their Boston Whaler. They're doing safety management today. And a fast flyby from Matt Borsina in his 36 right performance. There's Scott Witt in his 33 DCB, enjoying the power of those 400s. And it's Mercury Racing 1350s that power this 44 skater, John Azule. And zoom goes Josh and Terry and Pierce in the Animals. Well, we can spot him from a mile. There's John Wittenberger Sr. in his 36 Sonic Roadster on the rocks. No team name, no number, I don't know, but it is a sensation. And looks like another 42 MTI, I'm guessing it's probably, yep, Bill Pyburn Jr. in Team Platinum Addiction. Now we're checking in one more time with the Bubba and Brittany show, as I like to refer to it. Sounds like they got the stereo cranking, and it was the first time for everything on this show, and that is hashtag twerking. Once again, we aim to please with the best powerboats and, of course, the best entertainment on these Florida Powerboat Club poker runs. Thanks to Brittany and Bubba for bringing along a very spirited team here on War Party. Guys, I'm a big fan of center consoles, and this is one of the reasons why. You can bring all your friends, have a lot of fun, but the real winner is getting all that extra helicopter time. Now we're gonna spend a little bit more time with Bill Pyburn and his crew on Team Platinum Addiction. And one thing that I failed to mention earlier, if you look really closely at Fallon here, the girls are all wearing bathing suits with the face of Michael Pierce on it. And who would have thought that it's the late Michael Pierce? Because when this event was on, Michael was on the poker run with his skater while his wife Nikki and all the girlfriends had these bathing suits with his face on them. So that's just one more reason why it was suitable for me to dedicate these Key West episodes to Michael Pierce Jr. We're going to miss you, buddy. And it looks like we're back spending a little more time with Steve and Lisa Young again, who are now apparently famous. Because when this YouTube episode hits about 50,000 views, I think they're going to start getting emails from all of their friends like now saying, so what's going on for Key West this year, guys? And nice to check in one more time with Joe Ballesteri and his 33 Everglades, another one of our FPC safety boats. And just about to get buzzed by, looks like Dr. Eno in that 38 cigarette Top Gun, Greased Lightning. Please join me in welcoming Donald and Don Haddon from South Carolina in their 32-foot Belzona pair of Mercury 350 Verados. And guys, I think this is a great boat. It illustrates you don't have to have a $600,000 center console or a big catamaran that goes 150 to be enjoying these poker runs. I think that this couple really, truly is an example of how you can get into boating and have a good time doing poker runs, whether it's a full crew of people like they had on the Bahamas poker run on their Belzona, or whether it's just the two of you that are just having some good old uh, husband and wife time, chilling out at the back of the pack here. Don't need to get there first. It's a side of poker runs that I really want so many of you all to see. And they might not be the first ones to get to Key West, but they're gonna be in the same bars, the same restaurants, they're gonna be at the same parties and having fun with everybody else. And the only thing different is they're gonna have a lot of money left over because they saved so much money on fuel today that they're gonna be buying everybody else drinks. And with this very advanced uh, camera rig, we call it GoPro on a stick. We're able to actually get the shot to say goodbye to Joe and to Jerry as they bid farewell and turn the helicopter back to head home to Pompano Air Park. And that brings us back on board to Project 1080 38 Cigarettes, sponsored by Mercury Racing with those twin Mercury Racing 540 stern drives. So for some of you new viewers who are just joining us, that's where we got Project 1080 from and the namesake for the boat. And it has been now a full year. We started campaigning the boat in January with the winter poker run. We have done several poker runs with the Florida Powerboat Club throughout the year. And we toured the boat all the way to Michigan this summer and to Canada. We're doing some poker runs up that way. So she's had a good run this year. It's November now, 10 months into her campaign. It's a 20 year old boat that was completely restored, all new in 2019 with now just 160 hours on all the new equipment. And we've got this camera on board to give some of you viewers at home an idea of what it's like to run through these upper Florida Keys on the 38 foot cigarette Top Gun. So I'm gonna shut up for a minute and let you guys enjoy the ride.
Well, that was a nice ride, and here we are now arriving at our checkpoint number two, which is Ferro Blanco Resort uh, in Marathon. It's kind of a landmark checkpoint, as you can see, certainly with the lighthouse makes it a landmark, but it's really a functional stopover in so many ways. It gives us a chance to get fuel for the boats, not only just regular fuel from their own pumps, but also uh, a VP Race Fuels truck is here for those of our members who want to have the higher octane fuel, uh, non-ethanol fuel, the really good stuff is what I'm saying. It's available here as well. It is also a lunch stop, and we want to thank the gang at Lighthouse Grill, who do a great job of helping the Florida Powerwood Club with this staging point as they make their last stop before they head to Key West. There's Wynn and Sarah. Hey, where you guys been? So it starts to make sense now when we're seeing boats here at Ferro Blanco that we haven't seen for, oh, about two episodes now. Some of these boats, like Six Carat and uh, the other Black Diamond boats, they all jumped ahead and came right here to Ferro Blanco and avoided stopping at Gilbert's altogether. And that's what makes it work well, managing the logistics of this event and splitting the boats up at different lunch and fuel stops is really what makes everything flow so nicely. And it looks like Chris Colson and his team are rolling right in. He's got his fiance Emily and his little two-year-old named Charlotte along with his buddy Dimitri riding aboard. And another team that jumped ahead, we saw them in episode one. This is a Team La Scola, Craig and Franca with their two boys, Joey and Dominic, on their first Key West poker run. And catching some of the MTIs as they make their way out of Ferro Blanco, going to take that last leg. There's Sean Moe with his crew all the way from Nevada in their 42 MTI team, Moe Power. And, of course, we have to make a big shout-out to the Shoutons, but they're SCH. And I promise I won't make that mistake again, Mark. And once again, guys, look at this 42 MTI center console with four Mercury Racing 450s. Wow, what a beautiful ride. And we have now a record number of these 42 center consoles in the Florida Powerboat Club. And I think that seeing the boats here at the dock is almost or every bit as cool as seeing them running from the helicopter because you get a chance to see them up close. Uh, it's kind of a visual overload here at Dockside, whether it's the boats or these lovely ladies in bikinis. Being around the poker run scene, whether you're at a checkpoint along the way or whether you're at the docks in Key West or at one of the staging points like Grove Harbor Marina or Hallover Marine Center, it's just so visually stimulating. And think about it, you know, it's the middle of November and I can assure you that none of this is going on anywhere else in the world right now. So if you're into this stuff, which most of us are, you got to have your camera phones ready because this is such great stuff for your social media page. You're going to be a hit with all your friends when you start posting this stuff. So as we bid farewell to these Wednesday boats here from Ferro Blanco, they're going to make it all the way to Key West. And as they do on Star Wars, we're going to teleport you right back to Hallover Marine Center where all of the teams are getting ready for that big Thursday departure. Remember, we have 269 registered boats on this event, and already about 75 or 80 of them have headed to Key West on the Wednesday run. And we have teams from all over the country like Bud Porter and his gang. Hey, Bud, what's up? Coming in for all the way from Chicago in this 39-foot Top Gun. Team OPA 2 here from Eastern Pennsylvania and all his buddies that do all their boating on the Chesapeake and the Maryland area. They are just piling in one by one. Some of them, of course, coming off trailers and into the water, some at the ramp, and many of them headquartered right here at Hallover Marine Center where they stay throughout the season. And if you would just hang around here at Hallover Marine Center for about an hour, you're going to see more boating bling, more high-performance hardware that is just going to take the wow factor over the top. So, guys, I'm going to let you enjoy that wow factor, and I'm just going to shut up for a little bit as our drone pilot flies around, and we document one of the largest staging operations that we have ever undertaken here. So let's watch the professionals at Hallover Marine Center as they do their magic, getting ready for this epic Key West Poker Run 2019 with the Thursday departure.
and watching all this preparation for the run on Thursday here at Hallover Marine Center makes me think about another aspect of preparation getting ready for this event and that was uh, my wife Jackie Jones and her staff at the FPC headquarters in Pompano Beach just a few days earlier as they put all of the captain's bags together. Well, not many of our club members have had a chance to visit us here at our Pompano Beach headquarters, uh, but it's funny, you know, I thought about it. We've owned this building now for 12 years. We bought it in 2006. Uh, we did a build out and we moved in in 2007. And uh, here at the FPC headquarters, we've obviously got a lot of pictures of boats around <laughs> on the walls, but this 3,000 square foot building gave us the footprint that we needed uh, for all of this preparation for these big events and of course all those old banners well you know they're going to get retired to my wall in the warehouse <laughs> and uh, we still have lots more guys if you want any of them just let me know I have probably a 200 banners still kicking around from previous events but all those custom decals that we have their team names printed on and all the paperwork for the captain's kits it's all prepared here at this location and it takes weeks actually and there's our big off-lease only grand prize check that we will be using for our photo op on Saturday night at the big party. But here's a nice shot here that uh, I want to thank Joe from Skyview Productions, our videographer, for bringing in all his camera gear and setting up the GoPro cameras. But you can see the amount of work and staff that Jackie sets up. I don't really have much involvement with any of this, and that's because I'm down at the Fort Lauderdale Boat Show hanging out uh, with our sponsors on the docks. Uh, but Jackie has got a lot of friends who come in, and we have some club members that volunteer their time. But for the most part, we just ask all of our staff to bring in some friends, and everybody comes in. And it is a lot of work. Thousands of shirts and hundreds of captain's bags and sponsor kits put together. And we want to thank everybody because there's a lot of moving parts to this. There's my son Tyler, and uh, my other son Maxwell is here. But I really like this video segment. We haven't really done it before, but I think it gives us all an appreciation of just how much planning that goes into this Key West Poker Run. Having a warehouse like this is paramount to our club's success, and we want to thank all of our members and sponsors because it's your financial contributions and membership fees that help us to have such a great facility for planning and prepping for events. Now, fast forward just a few days, and we are now at Duffy's in North Miami Beach, uh, getting ready for our captain's check-in and, our, of course, our captain's meeting on Wednesday night where we finally get a chance to distribute all of this merchandise. And I believe that the teams are very happy to see their own team name on the front of every individual shirt, which, of course, was all packaged and custom ordered with all of the shirt sizes to match your crew. So this is something that we do far in advance, and that's why we pre-register for all of our events. If you show up here for this event, not registered in advance, chances are you might not be able to get any t-shirts uh, because pretty much all of them are spoken for by all of the sponsors and pre-registered Poker Run teams. Of course, that was Ray Lee, if anybody saw from Speedboat Magazine, taking some pictures of our captain's meeting venue. And I want to thank Duffy's for giving us the ideal setting to do this captain's meeting, providing us with the entire two upper levels uh, exclusively for our club. And you can see just we have hundreds of people here course this is for the Thursday run which is you know upwards of 180 boats so you know that's going to be at least 180 captains uh, plus their first mate or fellow crew members uh, it does get kind of crowded so that's why we try to limit it to at least two people per boat and one of my favorite things to do during the meeting is to remind everybody how important it is for new blood and I love introducing all of our new members and having them stand up and be welcomed by their fellow members. I think the most important points that I like to drive home in these meetings are that we are mandatory on life jackets for this event. There's no drinking on the event whatsoever. We must remain in a correct speed class for the run. And above all, that is the captains that are responsible for safe operation of their boats, not Florida Powerboat Club. Thursday morning in Miami. It's a new day and it is a beautiful day here from the Tamiami Air Park as our helicopter crew lifts off here in this Robinson R44 heading to Hallover Marine Center to rendezvous with the teams. So while they are in the air on their way over to rendezvous with us, let's check in with our teams at Hallover and see just how crazy it is this morning because we have set a record for the number of teams departing from a single location. So let's get right to it and start introducing the teams as we get our first bonus voucher 
from the docks here at Holliver Marine Center as Sebastian and his crew all the way from Switzerland are enjoying their first poker run in this Nortec 39 Super V. It was called High Healing. It belonged to a couple named Kurt and Juju. Nice to see that the boat has a new home and I know these guys are going to have a blast today. Let's say hi once again to Chris Ryder, a seasoned veteran here with the Florida Powerboat Club and a hardcore skater owner. We saw a lot of skaters on the Wednesday run and we're gonna see an awful lot today on the Thursday run. You gotta love the paintwork on this boat. And another one of our newcomers all the way from Michigan is Alex Pratt in his brand new 45 foot Nortec. That's a 450 center console. Very well equipped with four Mercury Racing 400 Rs and a lovely, beautiful Sarah up front getting her first poker card for the day. Very well executed. I give this team a 10 for their card handoff. We've got FPC girls Mary and Alyssa now handing cards off their first assignment with the club as they hand off to JT Byrne from Texas in this very rare 1997 Stern Drive Power Play Center console. And our leadoff cigarette for the day belongs to Stephen Barker from New York. This 42X is powered by Mercury Racing 1100s. What an awesome cigarette. Now let's welcome Stephen Sweet and his lady Lori that came a long way to be here from Illinois. And what an impressive center console this is. A 2016 42 LXF Scout powered by Quad Mercury 350s and it's got a sea keeper. And it's a fast handoff here to Michael and Navita McClellan. Came all the way from Illinois. This is a 37-foot Active Thunder, their first event with Florida Powerboat Club. And let's say hi to Parnell and Wendy Olson all the way from Michigan in their 36 concept. Bobby Burke was just a young lad when he joined his parents, Steve and Meta Burke, on their cigarette for FPC runs. But he's all grown up now. He's got his own 38 Top Gun and a beautiful wife named Kendall. We're doing this one for the Bahamas. Hey, Bobby. See you, man. Go look great, buddy. Keep it up tight. And it's great to see Tonka Simpson back all the way from Bermuda. 38-foot fountain center console called Team Drinking Fountain. And we're going to take some points off for the dude getting the card when it should have been the lady. Guys, we know better if you've been watching the videos. That's a four-point reduction right there. Could have let the lady do her thing. Would have kept all ten points. Now let's welcome Jason and Melissa Hill all the way from Missouri. Well, how did we know that? Well, she's got a big Thunder shirt on. That's a dead giveaway. This 35 statement is one of five statements on the run today. There are two 35s and three 38s, but check this one out. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Twin Mercury Racing 450s. Very nice. <laughs> Well, guys, it's a very special introduction for this team. Sam and Maria Galasso from New York in this 47-foot fountain. What's so cool about it? Well, everything. It's a brand new 47, fresh out of the factory in Washington, North Carolina. What's different about this one? Mercury Racing 1550s, and it is a beast. And that's Ed Champion at the helm from Thunder Marine up there with Sam enjoying their first poker run on this new boat. And let's welcome back Greg Del Monte from New Jersey in his 44-foot Outer Limits. It's his second year in a row in Team Hard to Handle. It's powered by Mercury Racing 700 SCIs. All right, guys. Hey. Looking good. Looking good. Thank you. And we saw this cigarette earlier in the show from the drone. This is Bud Porter all the way from Illinois. 39-foot cigarette Top Gun Unlimited Mercury Racing 700 SCIs. Not his first rodeo. He's done this event many times with the club before. And let's welcome Team Bulletproof, Ramon and Katia Vera. Many of us know them for the marine mat that they install in a lot of the manufacturer's boats. But now we know them as a manufacturer. This is a Bulletproof Marine Center console. And it's three in a row for Blake and Angie Olson from Texas in another bad habit, a classic cigarette Top Gun. 
They did Emerald Coast in August, the Bahamas Bimini Blast in September, and here they are in November doing Key West. And a very, very special welcome to Russell and Patty Hayes all the way from California with this 28-foot eliminator. Over 3,000 miles one way just to attend our Key West Poker Run. So special thanks for coming all that way to join us. And I believe this is their first rodeo with the club, Patrick and Layman Clark from New York and Team Contender. They registered with a fountain but changed up the boats and arrived with this Contender center console powered by Suzuki Outboards. And another team that came a long way to attend, Lawrence Coelho Jr., all the way from California in his Rapid Rabbit, a 28-foot DCB V-bottom, not something that we see very often from a company that builds mostly catamarans. Now let's welcome Bernie Newhouse from Team Marine Unlimited in this 38-foot Mystic Cat. My apologies to his first mate, Michelle, for cutting her off in that shot as I focused on that graphics on the side of the boat. But this is a brand new 38 Mystic powered by Mercury Racing 450s. What a beautiful ride it is. And for their second year in a row in this completely restored Nortec Super Cat, Tom and Rachel Reagan. The boat is called Eleanor, and I do believe that is a pickup from the movie Gone in 60 Seconds. Sammy! This boat was at the scene of a crime. Get rid of the beer, okay? Well, I guess that uh, the captain did not have a conversation with his crew member. Drinking beer at 10.30 in the morning on one of our poker runs is not part of our program. And another special welcome to newcomers James and Sonia Redding in Team La Mexicana. Brand new 39-foot deep impact powered by Quad Mercury 400Rs. Notice that it's got the double row of seating forward, plenty of space aft. I think this is a great layout for a poker run boat and what a great running machine. And looking at our roster here, 10 Deep Impacts registered for the event. That's a record for this Miami-based manufacturer who specializes in this 399 model. And now we're saying hi to Leon and Maylee Ramos, also new members and doing their first poker run here with the Florida Powerboat Club in their brand new Deep Impact 399. Also set up nicely with Quad Mercury Racing 400Rs. I love the orange and black graphics. I think it really makes this boat look great. So for the time being, we're going to wrap up our card segment here at Hallover Marine Center. Of course, we had several more teams who did get cards, but we have got a 180-mile trip ahead of us today, and it's time to get on the water and start running southbound. So we jumped on board with one of our official sponsor boats. This is Mark Fisher's very own Deep Impact 399, representing the Deep Impact factory, and they have one other factory 399. It's powered by Mercury Racing 450Rs. We're going to see that on our next episode. And I think that there was a missed opportunity on this Thursday morning run. You can see Hallover Inlet is very calm today, but somebody didn't want to go through the inlet thinking it might be rough. So they headed south on the Intracoastal route, and well, guess what? Everybody followed. A missed opportunity in my opinion because the inlet was open. We had a drone flying waiting for everybody to come out there, and they would have had a great ride offshore. So guys, just a little word of advice. You can always just cruise by the mouth of the inlet and take a little look and see how it is. If you don't like what you see, then you just continue south. But it was a missed opportunity because I know how much you guys love getting those money shots offshore, and none of us got any today. So we are going to sign off for the time being and close off Episode 4 with feature coverage of the Florida Powerboat Club's Key West Poker Run 2019. In our next episode, we have plenty of highlights of high-speed action as we continue to follow the Thursday departure group, about 180 teams heading from Miami all the way to Key West. Thanks to all of you for watching us here on YouTube. Remember to subscribe to our channel and be sure to click that notification bell so you get all the updates every time a new episode is released. Sadly, we are not out of this coronavirus pandemic quite yet. Uh, where some of us are still on lockdown, so we are going to continue to deliver you as many new episodes here on YouTube as we possibly can from our Pompano Beach Studios.
And we will continue to provide updates on upcoming poker runs at our website, which is flpowerboat.com. You can follow us on Facebook at Florida Powerboat Club, and you can check out these Instagram pages and also follow us on Twitter. This is Stu Jones from the studios in Pompano Beach, Florida. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys soon. If you do go boating, be safe out there, be respectful of your fellow boater, and be sure to wear those life jackets when the time is right. We miss you guys. Bye for now. These YouTube episodes are brought to you by Mercury Racing Wide Open and by OffLeaseOnly.com, the nation's used car destination. In addition to our 2020 series sponsors pictured here, we'd like to recognize all of these Key West 2019 feature sponsors as seen here on our official event masthead. This is the artwork for our official souvenir t-shirts, posters, and banners. These sponsoring partners play a vital role and it's through their support that Florida Powerboat Club can produce this signature Key West Poker Run event.